buffing tool is just one of these things here. You can get them in any tire supply. This one uh, bolts together, has two halves, and then you just chuck that in a drill, and that's pretty rough. It's like about a 40 grit sandpaper. So I'm gonna. There's not really room for me to do that on camera, but I'm just going to go inside there and just kind of work on it like this until I get a smooth spot. Grind all of this pattern out of here, get a smooth spot so that my patch will stick to it good. I gotta clean that water out of there. I took a piece of paint stick and drew a circle right around that spot that I'm gonna fix. I think that might be good enough, but I got to get a patch out and see if my patches are about that size. I got them all different shapes and sizes, and I think these here are about the right size. I could probably buff around the outer edges just a little bit more. This is called vulcanizing glue. I don't know if it's the best or not. It's, I guess vulcanizing means it kind of melts into the surface of the rubber. I don't know if it does or not. But. You definitely want to get the glue farther on, farther around than what the outer edge of, this, of the patch is going to be. And these are not real new patches. That's supposed to dry for about five minutes if I remember. Let me read the directions here to myself. Allow the cement to dry completely three to five minutes. So I'm going to shut the camera off for that. Okay, I did not watch that on the clock, but it seems like it's been about three minutes. It is warm out. It's not quite summertime yet. It's May, the beginning of May in St. Louis area. But it's, it is it is warm this afternoon, so I'm going to start in the middle and work my way left and right, or in my case from my position up and down with this little pizza cutter. squeeze any air out that's caught in between the patch and the glue. So hopefully that's okay. I'm going to pull that piece of plastic off of there too after that glue dries a little bit more. 
because I don't want that to get caught on the valve stem when I'm letting air out of the tire in the future. Well, I thought it was. Don't seem like that's coming off of there. I guess I'll just leave that on there. Okay, I'm going to remount the tire, but I'm not going to put these tires on yet. I'm going to I'm going to put these on the rear axle because I got some refurbished wheels and some new tires that I'm going to put on that front axle. So but I am ready to mount this tire, I think. Now if I could do this weighing 160 pounds, most of you drivers out there weigh a lot more than I do. You can do this at home. We'll let that air up for a minute or so. Then put the valve core in it. Maybe not a whole minute. Probably enough now to put the valve core in it. So much for fixing that tire. Thanks for watching.